Hey Raw Stars, so it's me, Tiffany Roth, and today I want to talk about pain. But not emotional pain or psychological pain, physical pain. And why do I want to talk about pain? Because when we work out, pain becomes a reality in our lives. We get pain from muscle soreness, we get pain from our knees and our shoulders and our backs, and all of these things. Well, what does pain mean? And what should we do about it? Well, there's a lot of different kinds of pains. There's some that's like really excruciating and hurts so much that you know that you really hurt yourself. Like if you're working out and you hear something snap or crack, then that's the kind of pain that you want to stop what you're doing and ice it, get some rest, and maybe see a specialist. And then there's a muscle pain that after you work out, you feel sore, you hurt, and you really kind of don't feel like it. What should you do about that? Do it again. That's right. After you work out and you feel that muscle soreness, the best thing to do is not sit on your butt and wait for it to go away. It's get out there and do it again. Because when you're dealing with the lactic acids and the muscles, you have to get the acid out and you have to like rejuvenate those muscles with the blood flow to get the pain to actually go away. The third type of pain is like joint pain. When your knees are aching, when your, your back is aching, your elbows or your shoulders, what do you do about that? Well, this is a two-pronged answer. Um, I have a client who suffers from a lot of knee pain. And after she works out, she feels really stiff and it makes her go like, oh, I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that and blah, 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 because my knees, my knees, my knees, my knees. And my response to her was, well, do you need your knees to walk, to sit down? <laughs> To get in and out of a car because if that's the case you got to keep those knees moving deciding that you're not going to bend the knees is not the answer even if it kind of hurts you have to get out there bend those knees sit down do some little mini squats or something to tell those joints that you mean business that you intend on walking for a long time that you intend on sitting down and getting up for a long time so a lot of times when you have that that joint pain it sends a message like, oh, I should stop, but should you really? Because there's a saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. That's right. So when you don't use your body parts, they start to atrophy, they start to get like, uh, they lose their lubrication and you get really stiff and it's hard, it gets even harder and harder for you to move. Back pain is another one that people suffer from. And that's because like maybe they have a misalignment in the back or those back muscles are really, really weak. So when you feel it, you get scared. Oh, my back is hurting. Remember, your back is comprised of tons and tons of muscles that need to be worked. And just like sometimes if you're doing an exercise for your abs and you feel a little burn, if you're working your lower back, you might feel a little burn sometimes too because there's muscles there too, not just bones. So when it comes to that type of pain, I have to tell you, and I told her this and it made her feel better, and this is the honest to God truth. We as instructors and trainers, sometimes we're out there and we're fierce. You're going for it, you're punching and you're squatting and everything, and then we sit down too long. Okay, I'm not talking about you like 20-somethings out there, but if you sit down too long, when you get up, you're like, oh, things are creaking and you're like a little bit stiff. And you have to decide, okay, do I want to avoid that little stiffness and forget about my fierceness? Or sometimes my fierceness comes with a little stiffness. I'd rather take the fierce with a little stiff because after you get to move it around a little bit, it gets better, you know? And the other thing that you have to do for yourself when you work out a lot is that you have to get massages. You have to treat yourself with something nice. And I'm gonna tell you about high performance vehicles. Have you guys ever seen a car race? And the race, the car goes around zoom, zoom, zoom so fast. And as soon as it finishes the race, it goes straight into the mechanic slot. And they start putting the oil on it or checking the tires or doing all this kind of stuff because high performance vehicles need maintenance. And you have to think of yourself as a high performing vehicle and you need maintenance. So you need massage. Sometimes you need to have, um, acupuncture or adjustments or drinking a lot of water for your joints, reducing, reducing your sugar intake, that really helps your joints. You need to maintain your body in order to continue to be a fierce, fierce athlete because that's what you are, you're athletes. You get out there and you move your body every day, you use your body to your advantage. So those are all the different types of pains, but I have to tell you that there is something that's really, really real. Don't use pain as an excuse not to move.
because pretty soon you're not moving will end up being not being able to move. So of course you always have to check with your doctor because I'm not speaking to anyone specifically and check with your doctor. If they tell you that you can't do something, then you listen to your doctor first. But this is just words of advice from my many years of experience that don't use pain as an excuse for you not to be fit, fierce, and fabulous. There's always something you can do. I love you all. I love you all. Hope you enjoyed this tip of the day and I will see you all next week. Kisses.